Good morning, Eric. Breaking news. The Chinese have just set to introduce export permits for certain graphite products starting December 1st. We immediately thought of you. Where do you want to start with this? Yeah, it's a great way to get up uh, from the bed this morning reading this. Uh, it's a great news. I think an expected one, but we never knew when it would happen. I think the experts believe it's way earlier than everyone thought that China is uh, making it more difficult on battery materials to go out of China. So this is a, a first on graphite, but m most likely not the last last event, you know. Well, Eric, you and I both know that most electric vehicles require five times the amount of graphite than any other critical mineral. So getting graphite to the top of the news flow is more than timely. Would you like to add anything about graphite uh, and graphite's supply in general, because you're one of the leading suppliers, of course, in North America. Yes, indeed. But maybe a few more words on probably why China selected graphite specifically. China controls close to 100% of the natural graphite processing that goes into EV. So on, on the other minerals, it's not as much control as, uh, as, as graphite. You know, for lithium, for instance, it's 0% is in China, but 60% and over of the transformation. So it's a good selection for China. They know they have a, a grip on all those guys who are building massive amount of cell making factory in the US. And they are building now a lot of cathode facility as well. But nobody is building anode material. Nouveaumont is really one of the first leader to build uh, the largest and most advanced natural graphite operation outside China, We're located right here. We are very much advanced with our main partner, Panasonic main customers, but you know, we needed to finalize all the agreements. So it's very timely for us. And we have also a lot of other uh, to and full of other discussions that most likely this morning will be, uh, will be more active. We're just literally receiving notes from around the world from our Critical Minerals Institute board. We have uh, Jack Lipton from Detroit, who wrote me with the Western automotive industry is not yet divorced from its Chinese supply base. Decoupling is a long and complex path, which is now showing the obstacle strewn, strewn path to de-risking. De the clearly annoyed Chinese are reacting to these processes by showing how important Chinese critical mineral production and processing is. Except, expect more of this as China reacts to the decoupling, de-risking fad currently among politicians and frightening, frightening to industrialists. Do you agree with this or what are your yeah, thoughts on Jack Lipton's comments? Yeah, it will take a while to completely replace China for the supply chain here, especially when you know all the product comes from there and we want to grow this cell making factory as the highest pace possible. But we want to be an alternative for sure and we want to grow our business as fast as possible. We do have the projects to deliver graphite in the upcoming decades. Uh, so we, we, we can be this great alternative, but we need the some some sort of a push on pricing and hopefully this is what is happening now outside china pricing should obviously deserve a huge premium compare what's happening in china because if you're uh, what happened to you if you're a chinese supplier this morning it's the opposite than us i mean they are not happy to not be able to export as easily their product so the price in China will go down, but we should not look at this price in China going down because we need to, to create our own market, our own, own indices on graphite. It's a very opaque market still, but it's obvious that we deserve like close to 100% premium compared to China. We need to be at least one alternative so we can continue making those sales out here. Well, of course, we are very committed to sustainability. and We cannot agree with you more. Um, one of our top CMI directors, Matt Bolson, always puts you in his top five graphite companies in the world to watch. Um, can you tell someone out there who might be going, oh, no, tell us more about graphite. Can you tell us just a little bit about why Matt has selected you as one of his top five graphite picks in the market? Yeah, probably our level of advancement. So we have uh, one phase. Uh, we've invested in close to 300 million in our project so far so we have 120 employees already so we're as big as it gets outside china we have we are in construction on the phase two that will be delivered in the upcoming years after construction 
So this is uh, will be the largest and most advanced fully vertically integrated natural graphite operation. And we indeed have a phase three. If you remember, we've made an agreement with our friends at Mason Graphite to acquire a 51% controlling interest to build the largest graphite mine in the world at 500,000 tons per annum. So this is in the pipeline. Once we we are in full construction mode on the phase two, we will develop this one as fast as possible. And I can tell you, the customer always ask about this phase three. When can you accelerate this phase three? It's important for us in the future. So I think now it's even more clear. We have secured the two largest and most advanced mining assets in North America on graphite. And now it's uh, our, our goal to develop more and more capacity around it. Of course, one thing I've always appreciated about Nouveau Monde is the amount of resources you've invested in educating your shareholders about how critical graphite is. For everybody out there who want to appreciate this, please go to nmg.com. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much for having me, Tracy.